Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com. Welcome to my video series, The Filters of Aurora HDR 2018. In this video, we're going to take a look at the HDR Details Boost filter that's available in Aurora HDR 2018. Now, you would use this filter, as the name implies, to boost any detail in your image. You also could diminish the detail in your image with this filter. Where this filter does really come in handy is if you were using the HDR Denoise filter or the Image Radiance filter, and you just smoothed out the image a little bit too much to your liking, you could regain some of that lost detail using this filter. And it's a pretty simple filter. It has five sliders and two groups. And you can see that details are broken down into three groups, small, medium, and large. And that kind of implies that the small slider would only affect small detail and medium only medium and so on. It doesn't really work that way, though, in real life. This small slider really affects the entire image. So if I move the small uh, slider all the way to the right, you'll see that it's enhancing the detail, it's boosting the detail pretty much everywhere. Even the larger parts that you would think that only the large detail slider should affect, this slider is affecting everything. Now I mentioned you could diminish detail as well. You could see that these sliders by default are at zero and you could go negative with them. So if I bring small to the left, down to minus 100, you can see how it blurred out a lot of the image, most of the image. So small really affects everything. Medium, on the other hand, as the name would imply, should only affect the medium detail in the image. Well, who's to say what is medium and what is small and what is large and where the lines are drawn? So you can see that medium probably for me, at least for this image, has a better overall effect. As I move it to the right, it enhances the detail, but it doesn't really overdo it as much as that small slider did. So you could do that, and again, you could go to the left and you could blur out some of that detail as well. And large will have the least effect on the image. As I move that to the right, you could see that it enhanced detail but it not as much as the small or medium sliders. So what I suggest you do is come in here with these sliders and start with like the large or the medium and move it if you I'm assuming you want to enhance detail not diminish detail and move it to the right and see how it affects your image. If medium is just a little bit too heavy-handed even at nominal adjustments, then come in with come into the large and move that up. Now if you're really dealing with something with really small detail, some type of macro, then you might want to pop up here to the small and move that to the right and see if you could enhance some of that minute detail. Um, work with every image is going to be different. There might be some images where you're going to use small and large maybe and maybe bring medium down. So experiment with the sliders and see what works best for your specific image. Now, in this other group, we have protection and masking. And what we're going to do to demonstrate those, I'm going to turn small all the way. I'll turn them all up so we could really see this overly detailed and super boosted uh, image. Now, what protection will do, it will protect, protect the highlights. So this comes in handy if you're doing a landscape and you have a sky in the shot. And the sky usually would be the highlight uh, part of the image. So if you move protection to the right, I want you to look at the windows. And you'll see as I move protection to the right, it affects the windows. I'm going to move it back and forth. Can you see that? So it's uh, affecting actually the brighter parts of the image. So even here where these statues are lit up, as I move it to the right, you can see it's affecting those. So it's taking away detail that we enhanced with the sliders from those brighter parts of the image. And just to better demonstrate that, why don't we zoom in and kind of look at these windows. And we're going to then go to protection 
and move it to the right. And it's going to just take a second to render. And you can see how it mainly affects the brighter parts of the image. Okay, so we'll zoom back out. And the last slider we have is masking. And really, masking, if you're familiar with, um, with Lightroom, there is a masking slider in the detail panel of Lightroom. And the masking slider you'd often use to mask out the sharpening from the sky. This doesn't just affect like the brighter parts of the image, like the sky, like the protection slider does. That's what the protection slider is for. The masking slider really kind of numbs the entire image as you move it to the right. You can see as I moved it to the right and I have all three detail sliders all the way up, it pretty much numbed everything. So if I turn this entire details, HDR details boost filter off, you can see the effect is nominal, although I kind of like it. So in that way, if you want to kind of dumb down the sliders, for lack of a better term, turn masking up. On the other hand, if you have a slider all the way up and it's just not giving you enough detail. Let's say we have the large all the way up, but it's just not giving me enough detail. Move this masking slider to the left. By default, it's set at 35. So we could move it to the left and try to take away some of the masking and add a little more uh, detail to the shot. So that is the HDR details boost filter. It's a little bit complicated, maybe more so than some of the other filters. But if you experiment with it, I think you'll find a way that you could get it to really work for you on your images. Thank you, everyone that watches my videos. I truly do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.